Hey, welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, as we look at my ant fed which is kind of difficult to see you see one branch going here uh, which is going down there to the end and there's another branch here that kind of goes in the tree there and uh, it makes me think of something I was reading today there is a comment about somebody uh, on another group, uh, not our groups, I was mentioning how uh, the MLE 30 is a crappy antenna and should not be bought and nobody should purchase it, it's no good. And then he's mentioning that he has so much better reception on his 140 feet of wire and blah blah blah. And it's sad because it's lack of knowledge and ignorance that uh, puts comments that are not um, good comments. That's why having a, a certain knowledge is important. You know, I talked about it a lot, but my NFED beats my MLE 30 on higher frequencies. Why? Because it, you know, the noise is low enough that the performance is there. But anything below about, I'd say, 9, 8 or 9 megahertz, the MLE 30 is the killer antenna. It's the one that really works. Uh, I will hear pirates on 6925, 6950, and so on in the 6 megahertz range easily with the MLA30. And I struggle to even hear them on the NFED here. And the only difference is that the noise floor, my noise level below about 7 or 8 megahertz is crazy high on this wire. Above 10 megahertz, that's where the noise is actually low enough that my MLA30 isn't as good. And it's the way that it is, and it's that's what I think a lot don't understand when they say, "Well, I, all I get is, you know, uh, noise, and uh, I don't really receive like my." Well, if you live in a low noise, this is this is the key phrase. You live in a low noise environment. You don't need an MLA thirty. You need a good long wire, and that'll do the job. But if you live in an urban area like I am, and you have a very high noise. The MLE 30 is a game changer. It saves you from not receiving anything. Why? Because a magnetic loop can achieve a better noise, signal to noise ratio. Because some of the noise it's almost immune to. Not all of them, but some of them. And so that's where the knowledge needs to be put. So if somebody says the MLE 30 is no good, it is great. Uh, but it is great in specific environments. Um, but if you have low noise, you're not going to get great signals on an MLE 30. It actually does receive less than a long wire. It receives less signal than my NFED here. It's just that in the noise, the NFED isn't useful because it gets too much noise, where the MLE 30 gets less of it. So, you know, that's why it saves the hobby for a lot of people. It saves the hobby for the people that live in high noise environments. And that's the difference, and that's what needs to be uh, understood about it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.